go the entire video without messing with my hair? No, the answer is I cannot. I am feeling really inspired today. I wanted to sit down. I just wrapped up reading a book, got out of my book slump for October, and I was like, you know what? It would be a really great video. You know what would actually be really great? Is if I could stop messing with my freaking hair. I'm gonna put my hair up. So if I look like I'm from the 1800s, can we just like not talk about it? Because like I just can't stop fidgeting with my hair and it's gonna drive me insane because I'm just trying to make a video about these books. <laughs> cute, right? If I like sit like this for the whole video, it's like kind of cute. Anyway, I just wrapped up reading Colleen Hoover book and I know that Listen, she's not for everyone. She's not everyone's cup of tea. Personally, for me, I love reading books, even if stories don't turn out the way that I want them or characters aren't my favorite. I can just appreciate books for books. But I read quite a few Colleen Hoover. I think I read more of her than any other author this year. So I just wanted to, I thought it'd be fun to rank these books. Okay, this is like gonna be really controversial, I feel. So to rank them, I'm gonna rank them from like worst to best and I'll explain. I'll explain, I'll explain. Let's just jump right into this. So in last place out of all of these books, oh my God, is Ugly Love. So here's the deal, here's the deal. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've read so many books since I've read this one but I don't know. I just am trying to like remember. This was a good book, but see, this is what I'm talking about. I can like barely even recall like what it was about. And so for me, it just like doesn't stand out. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you what came in. So this is seventh place and I'm going to show you sixth place because I feel like I'll be able to explain this better once I share this. It ends with us as in sixth place and it ends with us as a... I very vividly remember this storyline. So, and I read this one before I read Ugly Love. So to me, it's like, I'm sure this was a great book, even though I'm, it's kind of coming back to me right now. I wanna say, I can't remember if this is the book where he's a pilot or not. No strings attached. I really don't remember, but that's my point. I don't remember. So like, I remember every single one of these books aside from this one. So it's got to come in seventh. I read it. It was good. It just doesn't stand out to me in comparison to these other books. So seventh place is going to Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. And sixth place is going to It Ends With Us. So I'm going to talk about why I liked this book and why I didn't. So for me, what I really love about this book is the way it like shines a light on abusive relationships and the cycle of abuse and what i mean by that is everyone's talking about like how much they love ryle in this book and how much like how they would stay with him and i think that that was the purpose of this book was to paint the picture of how the cycle of abuse can continue so for me i felt like this book was really powerful because it has forever changed the way that i like view people in abusive relationships i feel like it just really made me feel um, because like I did, I fell in love with Ryle throughout the book and I just, you know, I wanted to give him other chances and I just realized like how easily it happens. For that, I think this book is really powerful. So this book came in sixth place for me. And then this is the book I actually just finished reading. So my book in fifth place is going to be Regretting You. I just, wow, I liked this book. It didn't have any crazy plot twist to it in my opinion i felt like it just tells like a really beautiful story uh beautiful not the right word i feel like it just tells a really interesting story about like grief and as this mother and their daughter kind of navigate through it in different capacities i don't really understand like the point of lexi in this story i guess it's like fine she's kind of like she was there but um it's really interesting i'm gonna assume that the cover art on this book is the letters that she tore up, the mom that she tore up, is that what this is? Is the Are these the torn up letters that Morgan tore up between Jonah and Jenny? I don't know. I wish that we got 
more insight to Jenny and Chris's affair and how it started and things like that. But I don't know. I really love that this book wasn't just like, it didn't have any super juicy like scenes in it. It felt just very like raw and honest. And I don't know. It's just something about this book kind of stood out to me. So this book is going in fifth place. I think that's where we're at. Okay. Next book is All Your Perfects. Not me reading the back of them trying to remember what they are. Um, no, I'm kidding. So I remember this book because this is the book with the elevator and the cheating partners and they like met right outside and kind of like struck up a romance. <sighs> okay, here's the difference between this and Ugly Love. Although I don't remember Ugly Love, I do remember this book. And what I remember about this book is that they chose to be with each other at the end. And I thought that that was really touching. Um, I think books, um, you rate them kind of based on your experience and your ability to relate to characters and storylines and things like that. And I feel like for me, I don't, I don't know I just like so desperately want like that type of love forever and ever and ever and I feel like you get that when someone just accepts you for who you are and all of your flaws and even though relationships have their ups and downs I think I really admire that they chose to stay together and work it out and it was just a really sentimental story I you know it's actually all coming back to me and you can I feel like you can just tell like I didn't have this reaction with ugly love. So even though I don't really remember this entirely, when I put it in this pile, I was like, I remember really liking this book and I do remember how it ends and uh, the letters, the letters, the letter that he wrote to her, I just love. So liked this book a lot. This book is coming in fourth place for me, November 9th. Um, I don't know you guys there's just something about this book um i'm trying to i know this book is about a girl fallon and she's burned pretty badly in an accident and she like the entire side of her body and she's super insecure about it and for me i do feel like there was quite a plot twist i would consider it a plot twist but she meets this guy and um, the only thing I don't like about this story is that she blames her dad the entire thing and I just like feel so bad about that but it's just the plot twist is literally insane I couldn't put it down I loved reading about it I don't know there's just something so great about it I don't know something so like mysterious like gosh it is so crazy when she finds out that like he is the one that set the fire and that I didn't like to be honest the reason I like this book is not because like he set the fire and like chose to love her because low key, I feel like he can't help but love her and try to like build her confidence because like he caused that pain for her. But the actual love story itself before the crazy plot twist, I really, really enjoyed. So I like this book a lot. This is going in my number three. Okay, you guys number two this is the book i mean you guys already know everyone and their mothers is talking about this book this book got me back on my og reading grind like picked up a book because of this book everyone was talking about it and it truly is like worth the hype i read this book in hours literal hours not like Oh, I read this book in under 24 hours. Like, no, this book was read in under five hours. It was absolutely thrilling. I remember very vividly everything that happened in this book. It was the first book I read in 2020. I read this forever ago. Um, and it still is number two. It's still number two. First Colleen Hoover I ever read. And it's insane. First of all, I had no idea books could be that juicy. Second of all, this plot twist, I'm 100% team manuscript. 100%. Like what was homegirl doing standing 
in the darkness observing, watching above the hallway on the stairs. That's creepy. So creepy. Like, was she sick? Was she pretending to be sick? What's wrong with this lady? If you're not team manuscript, I need to know why because I just need to know why. I cannot wait to get my hands on the limited edition version, the gold one, just so I can figure out if I'm still team manuscript. This book is so good. I wouldn't really consider it a romance. I'd more so consider it like a thriller. All these books are like romance. Um, this straight up thriller. Spooky. Anyway, um, so good. So if you are thinking about picking up a Colleen Hoover book, again, again, you don't have to come for me. I read other things besides Colleen Hoover. However, I just feel like Colleen Hoover, she's hot. She's on it. We're talking about it. Everyone wants to know. You're allowed to form your own opinions. I totally understand if it's not your thing, but if you are thinking about it and you're looking for a place to start, this is going to be it. I know with everything inside of me that even with two months left of this year, there is no book, no book that will top this book for me. I have never in my life cried while reading a book. This story, I don't know what it was, but just something about it, I don't know, makes me wanna like start crying right now. My favorite Colleen Hoover book, my favorite book of 2022 is Reminders of Him. Oh my God, I just, everything about this book the romance unraveling, the story, um, the rebuilding of relationships. I think what I find so touching about this book is just the relationship between this mother and daughter, like how desperately she wants to be with her child and how she will do anything. I mean, don't get me wrong, the love story, like, they have to be together, but I don't know, you guys. This book is about a girl who goes to prison and she gets out and um, it's not really about prison at all. You you learn why she like goes to prison, but she comes back and she's trying to like rebuild this relationship with her daughter and um, she's got all these like barriers and then she meets this local guy who works at the bar and there's just, I mean, read this book in literal hours. I, like I said, I cried. It's the only book I've ever cried at and just something about it is so beautiful. And I actually watched an interview in which Colleen talked about like the writing process of this book. And I just am like even more stunned, like how, you know, nobody's perfect, everybody's flawed and just accepting people's flaws and forgiveness. There's just something really special about this book. That Colleen Hoover, people love her, people hate her. Do you? I enjoy reading her books. I think I have one more Colleen Hoover book that I have to read. These are all the books that I've read by Colleen Hoover. I do have Layla. That is the only Coho book I have on my shelf at the moment in my to be read pile. I have a lot of Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have a lot of Emily Henry. What else do I have? I have some like thriller books that I'm really excited to read. But yeah, I thought this would just be a fun little video to make because like I said, I just finished reading Regretting You. And if you guys think of any other Colleen Hoover books that I don't have in this pile that you think I should check out or any other books in general, I literally love reading. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, morning, whatever time of the day it is for you. And I will see you next time.